Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here. Welcome back to another movie review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Memento. This is a film directed by Christopher Nolan, and before I get into that, um, I want to lay out some news. Okay, first off, yes, I'm using my camera that I used to make my plushy movies on, and pretty much, um, if you are wondering why I'm using this camera instead of my laptop, my laptop's fucking up. I have to get it fixed. I always have to get my laptop fixed all the time. So I have to use my mom's laptop, So, but pretty much it is in bad quality, like I said in the last few videos. So pretty much it's going to... But that's okay. I like the quality of this camera. It's not perfect, but pretty much it's good enough for me to use. So anyways, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It might take a little bit, but... I will get it fixed as soon as possible. Anyways, let's get into it. Memento, which is directed by Christopher Nolan. Same guy. Um, he is one of my favorite directors of all time. And he has made some great movies, including the Dark Knight trilogy. And the Dark Knight, the second film, is a no-brainer. It's definitely my favorite superhero movie of all time. And I'm not just saying that because everybody says that. And it's definitely the best Batman. And I definitely think... Heath Ledger is the best best Joker, in my opinion. And I, I enjoyed Interstellar. I do have some... I do have a couple of flaws with it. I didn't think it was as good as Gravity, uh, you know, which is another space movie, just like Interstellar. And uh, pretty much, um, I guess if I have seen it in the theaters, uh, Interstellar, then I would have liked it a little bit more. All right, but, you know, I, I guess it was just too long. For me and yeah I was an idiot because you know I seen long movies all the time I guess I should have since I saw Transformers Age of Extinction I wish I could have seen that in the theaters Interstellar not all right all right just fuck it you know all right Memento uh, excuse me, Memento is about a man who is determined to find justice after the loss uh, of, a, of a loved one, even though he is incompatible of fully remembering the crime. Um, is it, and um, Leonard, played by Guy Pierce, is a man who is struggling to put his life back together after the brutal rape and murder of his wife. But Leonard's problems are different from those of most people in his situation. Uh, he was beaten. Um, he was beaten severally by the same man who killed his wife. The most sign... Uh, the most significant uh, manifestation of Leonard's injuries is that his short-term memory uh, has been destroyed. Um, he is incompatible of retaining any new information and must resort to um, um, uh, to uh, uh, copious uh, note-taking and Polaroid um, photographs in order to keep track of uh, what happens to him over the course of a day. He's even tattooed um, himself with a few crucial bits of information he can't get along without. Uh, Leonard, ret uh, Leonard um, retains awareness that his wife was brutally, brutally murdered. However, and he's convinced that the culprit still walks his the streets. Leonard is obsessed with the notion of taking revenge against the man who has ruined his life, and he sets out to find him, getting help from Natalie, played by Carrie Ann Moss, Moss, excuse me, who appears to be um, who appears to be a sympathetic uh, barmaid, and Teddy, played by Joe Pantoli Pantoliano, I think that's what it how you pronounce it, who claims to be Leonard's friend, even though Leonard senses that he cannot be trusted. And, of course, it's written and directed by uh, Christopher Nolan, and he adapted um, Memento from a short story by his brother, Jonathan Nolan. So, pretty much, yeah. So, getting into this film, let me get into the positive side. Not saying that I had any problems. Probably just... I didn't really see that much problems with the movie. Let me just say, the sets in this movie look absolutely incredible. And the gripping, it's very gripping 
as you get into the film, walking into this and going into these, you know, characters, like the main character played by, uh, you know, Guy Pierce, he does an incredible job at making this character work. It definitely shows that, you know, Guy Pierce is definitely one of the most underrated actors out there and definitely showing that he gives one of his memorable performances in a long time. And it definitely has a gripping story. And showing that when it goes from point A to point B, it shows that, you know, it definitely shows it messes with your mind. It, what will happen? What is going on? It's like a, it's a crime thriller. And showing that I, this is one of Christopher Nolan's first films, I believe. I'm not sure if I would say this is his first, but this is definitely one of his best. This is a big starter for him in his career. It's definitely showing all of it. Now, the negative sides, I honestly uh, couldn't really think of that much, but but really. Um, one thing, I wish they should have shown the opening credits into a more positive, into a more exciting mo uh, exciting note. I'm sorry. Well, this isn't really a problem. It's pretty much just a stupid thing, but uh, you you understand. Just, I shouldn't even be talking about it. But anyways, this is definitely one of the best crime dramas in a very long time. Time. I don't know what the hell I am saying here. But Memento definitely has a lot of great acting and definitely has a gripping story and very just everything. It is probably one of the most underrated films I've seen pretty much in the 2000s and if you can even call it underrated since you know it's Christopher Nolan and a lot of people say uh Christopher Nolan stuff is overrated uh and I heard they're probably gonna remake it. Let me just say to the people that are planning on making it yeah that's what I think of right here because this is a classic you guys I definitely give it 5 out of 5. It's definitely worth your time and definitely worth watching. Now, that is it for my movie review for Memento. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Word out.